and welcome to another episode of Alcoholic Family. Uh, again, we're your hosts, Orion and Sarah, and today, what, what, what do we have? We have a surprise gin box. Yeah, so mystery gin box opening. You've got a pair of scissors next to you uh, to open this. But um, yeah, this is actually from uh, Bling Box, isn't it? Bottle Bling. Bottle Bling. I said the wrong thing. Um, yeah, this is from Bottle Bling, and uh, they had a deal on. Uh, this is usually um, £85 for a full 40 uh, ABV gin. Two of their 25% ABV gins, all 22 karat gold. We're not quite sure, but it was a winter offer, so we thought we'd go for it. Apparently, you also get four tonics. We haven't opened the box, so we're going to be as surprised as you are by what's in it. So, here goes. Okay. Oh. So, what's the first item we have? Got, um, an elderflower fever tree. It makes me think there might be some elderflower flavoured gin in Bitter here. orange and e elderflower tonic, yeah. I think that's. Is that the same one? No. Nope. Is that fever tree as well? No. no it's not. I think I've got another elderflower. And I've got another one of the ones that I had. <laughs> so, obviously, they can't sell elderflower tonic. It's a giveaway. So these are all of the tonics that have come in our mystery box. So we've got uh, two two different types. Okay, and now starting with the gin, we have what type do we have there? The twenty-two karat gold mixed berry gin. Would you like to read another one? <laughs> I'll go enough. Okay. So we have a 22 karat gold Brazilian orange and Persian lime gin liqueur. Persian, probably. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, and we have a 22 karat pink, uh, 22 karat gold pink grapefruit gin. That's the 37.5%. So that's just full strength. What did we have originally? Passion fruit, watermelon. I can't remember what the other one was. Peach. Peach. Yeah. I was thinking we'd have to go back and watch the first video. <laughs> okay, there we are. So these are the three gins which uh, we got from there. So we have two liqueurs on this side and this one is a full strength. Oh, that's a bigger bottle as well, is it? Or are they all... I think these are wider oh, no, and that's taller, yeah. isn't it? Okay, so that is what you get for £35. Yeah, so um, yeah, going back on my point, this was originally eight, eighty-five pounds, but for a winter deal, it has been knocked down to thirty-five pounds. So we thought we would try it. Yeah. Do you want to save the elderflower or and just have normal tonics off our shelf? No, oh, I think since we got it in the box, we've got to try it. Okay, <laughs> that's fine. Okay, so um, uh, how do you think we're going to do this? Are we going to go half bottle per glass? Yeah, yeah a twenty-five yep. ml shot and half a bottle each. Yeah. yeah. Okay. As you can tell, um, we've run out of gin glasses. So, so I've got a hurricane. And I've got balloon uh, normal gin glasses. Okay, so. We are eco friendly with our straws. Metal straws. Save the environment one turtle at a time. Now let's have the winterberry. We've had. Oh, oh no, that's not winterberry, that's mixed berry. Oh, that's different again. Okay. My apologies, <laughs> So we're going to try the 22 karat gold mixed berry gin liqueur. So this is a 25%. And it's a 500ml bottle. What do you think is the best pair with this one? Just the normal elderflower, I think. It is berry gin, isn't it? Yeah. So yeah, we're going to try the it's elderflower. It's a fever tree. Okay, so this is the pairing we've got. Right, can I have a swirl of that? I should have swirled it before we put yeah. the tonic on. <laughs> I'm sticking your nose at you. To the Quite hard today. to put my finger on one. I've got a little bit of strawberry. I almost can't tell. I, I, it's a bit kind of very well blended. Right, cheers. Cheers. Mm. There's a very distinct fruit, fruit coming through there, but I can't think what it is. Very bitter punch at the end. But it's very yeah. um, softly mixed at the start, the first yeah. flavour. I think there's definitely like a um, certain tang of elderflower we can get definitely from that. Yeah, but that's from the tonic, that's not <laughs> yeah. from the gin, so... It's hard to distinguish between the two. 
I'm trying to think what that is. Right, anyway, I think I might put that one to the side now. Yeah, and then come back to the rest. Okay, so what's our next pairing? We're going for the Brazilian orange and Persian lime. And I think we should probably pair this with the other um, tonic yeah. that we had. So we're gonna go for the London Essence Bitter Orange and Elderflower uh, Tonic Water. Mm. What's the smell of straw? Oh, I, would expect, I was thinking it's my orange, but it doesn't. This would be a good pairing between the orange uh, tonic and the orange gin, actually. Yeah. Uh -oh. I get hints of blood orange from it. It's like I can't finish a sentence today. <laughs> so the two we're pairing right now is the London Essence uh, Tonic and the 22 Karat Gold Brazilian Orange and Persian Lime Gin Liqueur. Here we are. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. I would say, in some ways, the lime is more prominent than the orange. Yeah, that surprised me. Yeah, I expected, because of the pairing that we had, I expected a lot of orange, but it's actually, the orange is quite like a soft undertone um, that complements the lime. Yeah, it's got a smell like PVC. It tastes rather, I want to say fake. Like, yeah, it's got a synthetic taste to it. Yeah, um, it, it definitely... Like, it's nice, don't get me wrong, but it doesn't taste like as fresh as what I could imagine an orange and lime combination. Yeah, mm. I would have thought it would be more... I like it, but I'm citrusy, quite disappointed but it's disappointed not citrusy. At. Yeah, I like it, but I'm quite disappointed at the potential that it could have been. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. On that note, should we move on to our third one? Yeah, and so the third one is the pink grapefruit, 37.5. ABV. Um, I think we should go back for the just normal, just normal elderflower. Quite a bit, quite a bit. Yeah, you can definitely mm. tell that it's grapefruit. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the pairing of the one we're having right now. So we're having a grapefruit, um, not not liqueur. This is a forty percent one. Thirty-seven point five. Okay, thirty-seven point five one. And it's just being paired with the normal beef pe tree elderflower tonic. Okay. Okay. Cheers. Oh, I like Ooh. that. <coughs> oh, down the wrong hole. Mm. I like that. But I think it would be better paired with a normal tonic rather than the elderflower. I, I think you're right. I think the elderflower kind of is taking away from the whole summery vibe of, ooh, chilling on a beach, having a nice glass of gin. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. this one, I could definitely. It's smooth. It's soft. I could definitely drink it like glass after glass if I was on a ho uh, holiday. Um, <laughs> on, on holiday. Yeah, or, or just chilling at home in lockdown. Yeah. Um, oh, this one goes down really easily. It does. I like this one. Oh, it's definitely got a lot of power of grapefruit behind it, and I enjoy that. With yeah. This one. Yeah, mm. I wasn't too keen on the orange one. The only orange gin that I've actually found that I like is the Tangerisa Villa. Yeah, yeah, that one's, that one's really good. We should probably try that in a future video. <laughs> I've tried it. It's nice. But, but just to compare different orange gins, because I don't even think the Gordon's orange one was that nice. Uh, yeah, come back again. We might have an episode of uh, trying out different orange gins. Um, but for right now, so yeah, um, time for the markings, is it? It is. Okay, so this one, the one that we started with, the 22 karat gold mixed berry gin liqueur. We tried this with the elderflower tonic. Um, it, it, it was actually really good. It wasn't... Excuse me. You okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have a quick return visit. Yeah, I think I need to just recap on what it tastes like. Hmm. I do like that. I do like so the So do I. Berry. It's very... Very nice mix of flavours. Yeah, and that had just normal elderflower, didn't it? It was just normal elderflower, yes. And it's nice with elderflower, unlike with the pink grapefruit, I think the elderflower pairing wasn't so good. Mm. Um, yeah, on, the, on, on that note, I think I would definitely give this a mark of, I would say, probably five. I would say it's about average. I would go higher, I'd say about six or seven. Okay. 
I think um, I think there's definitely better gins out there, but there's definitely a lot of worse gins. Um, I, I would I I would compare this on I would enjoy this the same amount as I would enjoy a normal Gordons. Okay. Yeah, I uh, I would say that. Um, in terms of a mixed berry gin, I know I've had a lot better mixed berry types of gin that uh, definitely outpower this. But I think, you know, it, it was definitely good for the value. Okay. So that's my five. Yeah, no, I really liked it. I liked the berry flavour coming through. Mm. Seven. Um, with the orange one. It's really nice, but it's too, too synthetic and it's too... Um, you could definitely make a better orange gin. It's not as fresh as I, yeah. I was hoping. But then you do get the good taste of the lime as well, though. Mm. The lime is what brings it back to me. It's very soft, yeah. very. I like... don't know if it would be better with a different tonic. I don't know if the elderflower is somehow. But we were doing it with an orange and elderflower, weren't we? Yeah. Um, to kind of uh, bring out the more orange in it, and it just turned out to be a background flavour to the lime. Yeah. Um, I'd give that a five though, it's drinkable, but it's not one of my favourites. I think I'm going to have to agree with you, I think it's very average for what an orange one could be. I think there's definitely better orange ones out there. Yeah. Mm. And uh, last but not least. The pink grapefruit. The pink grapefruit. Which is the full strength gin, 37.5. Mm. So it it's was just not paired, a gin liqueur. And it was just paired with the ordinary elderflower tonic. And this one. That's getting an eight. That's really good. It's soft. It's, you know, calming. Um, I would say seven for me. I would say that I could have it a bit more fresher, but um, it's, you know, it's not quite as uh, fresh grapefruit. I feel like they're all taste a bit synthetic. No, um, I didn't think that one did. But the elderflower pairing, I don't think was the best. Mm. We used the tonic they gave us. We should have just... We should, we should always just went for normal tonic. Yeah, possibly. It, it possibly could have got better scores from me then. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's a. Yeah, I think that's overall. I think um, the, the the mystery box. Do you think in total it was definitely worth the value? Mm. Definitely. I I feel like if you're I feel like if you want a surprise, this is definitely a thing to go for. It's on deal at the minute, so yeah. Yeah. I also like the fact that we've had a lot of this Toddlers gin, mm. but it was three new ones. Because I thought, yeah. oh, are we going to get ones we've already tried? No, yeah, we didn't. Being as it was kind of like um, a cheaper price, I thought it was just going to be the uh, the winter ones. They were just going to kind of try and recycle back. But no, yeah. they've actually given us ones that we haven't heard of before, really. No, I've seen them on the site. Yeah. But we've not bought these ones. Definitely we would recommend this. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, bottle bling mystery box gin, uh, gin opening. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Well, thank you all for watching. Thanks for watching. I, uh, yeah. And, I must uh, see you again for another episode. Take care. Cheers. <laughs>